Hi, everyone. I'm Paul with Madcap Software, and I'm here to tell you what's new in this version of Madcap Mimic. Now, it's been a while since there's been an update to Madcap Mimic, and in this release, you're actually not going to notice anything that's new related to actually making movies or editing movies, things like that. Really, what's happening is uh, this is just a chance for Mimic to kind of catch up to some of the changes that have happened in Madcap Flare over time, because there are uh, features in UI that uh, just get inherited by these other desktop applications, including Madcap Mimic. So I'm really just going to talk about three really basic things. And uh, those things are a redesign of the start page, a redesign of interface themes, and then the ability to uh, do command line activation, to activate or deactivate Madcap Mimic without even having the application open. You're going to be doing it from the command line if you want. Now, maybe you uh, are only interested in, in part of this. So what you can do is go down to the play bar, hover over it, and you can jump ahead to whatever area that you might be interested in. So that's pretty much it. In addition to maybe some you know, some bug fixes, things like that. It's just those three things that we're going to concentrate on in this new version of Madcap Mimic. So let's start by taking a look at the new start page. And here it is. This is the new start page right here. Uh, a few things to notice. One is right away you're going to notice is great big banner right up here at the top. And you may or may not see a banner on your start page. It's going to show uh, in certain situations. For example, here I installed a trial version of Madcap Mimic. So it's letting me know how many days I have left. And then over here are some action items. Or you might see uh, this banner uh, with some different uh, content in it. For example, if your subscription is coming to an end and it'll just let you know that and you can take action. So that's one thing. Another thing is the options uh, for going to the different views on the start page are over here on the left. And these really haven't changed. It's just the design has changed. So your work, that is recent files, recent Madcap Mimic movies listed here, resources, you can click on that and get a variety of resources from Madcap software. Open if you want to open a movie or new, if you want to create a brand new uh, movie or movie collection. And really the final thing to mention is that this is responsive. So let's say that the start page gets more narrow. Uh, I will open up something else in here, the frames window pane, you can see it squeezed the start page. So the work items are up here on the top and uh, the banner is down here on the bottom. That's pretty much it. That is the redesign of the start page. Now the next uh, change I want to point out is the three interface themes that you have available to you. And uh, those have been updated right now. We're looking at the new classic theme. So you get this kind of the dark blue up here. And so you can easily see what that looks like. Go to options, go to the interface tab. There's classic. Now let's switch over to black. And that's what the black theme looks like. And then if you go to options, go back up here, go to silver. And that is what the silver theme looks like. So. That was real quick and easy. Just a few different options, a few different looks for the interface. The last change we want to talk about is command line activation. And again, that is uh, the ability to activate or deactivate Mimic without having access to the application itself. You can do it through the command line. And again, that is... Uh, going to happen maybe if your company has imaged machines. So the best way to learn about this, I'll take you through it, uh, through it uh, on a real high level. But uh, what I would do is just go to the online help, go over to what's new. There it is, command line activation. This is going to take you through all the steps. Pretty easy, but uh, I will just kind of take you through uh, the main points here. So in order to do this, what you're what you're going to start with is op open up a text editor like Notepad++ 
And this is going to tell you what to do in there to create a new file that's called license.json. And you're going to uh, save this new JSON file wherever you ins uh, installed Madcap Mimics. So it's likely to be right here. That's where you're going to uh, save that file. Within that file, you're gonna open that up in the text editor and you're gonna put in these parameters. Now, some of these are required, some of them are optional. You can just look through that. Uh, you get help from your IT department if you need it. The reason why I wanted you to come to the help topic is this is an example in here of the format and you can just copy this, paste it into the text file and then you just uh, replace this stuff with your own information, your company's own information. Save the JSON file, it's that easy. Then what you do, you go into the command prompt and you uh, go to that location uh, where you have Mimic installed and you enter whatever command you want. Mimic activate or Mimic deactivate. This shows you how it is written. That's it. That's how you can uh, activate it through the command line. And those are the new features, the new changes that I wanted to cover in this latest release of Madcap Mimic. Thank you for watching. We'll talk to you next time.